What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Board Game Spotlight. My name's Jimmy. I'm Bradley. What are we playing tonight, man? Tonight we're playing Merchants of the Dark Road. <laughs> Merchants of the Dark Road. Let's do this. I'm really excited tonight to show you all this game. It is live on Kickstarter right now. This is uh, put out by Elk Creek Games. And, uh, and the designer is Brian Surrey, and um, it is, it's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, we played this a few times now, and so I don't know, we don't want to give away everything, I guess, just yeah. yet, but what are your thoughts here? So first, when you just look at it, the, the map, the board, it's just, it's dark, and it's cool, <laughs> and uh, it just feels like winter. You uh -huh. know, it, it feels like you're playing this, on this cold night, and it, the, the dark road is really thematic through the whole thing and you know your player board is this little carriage it's got snow hanging off of it and it's just <laughs> you know around here we love theme <laughs> and they've really carried the theme all the way through this it is. i like it i totally agree i think that uh, as we play tonight you're going to see the theme kind of come out in this and a lot of times when you have games that have a lot of moving parts like this you end up just doing the mechanisms and you kind of lose out on some of that right. so you'll see right. i think as we are picking up these heroes and grabbing these contracts and delivering these and the way that the the mechanism works on your board where you're actually stuffing these guns yeah. and weapons yes. and, and instruments and all that kind yeah. of stuff you get to pack your cart <laughs> full of full of items and you're kind of doing a a Tetris thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. It's great. Yeah. It reminds me of like Feast for Odin where you're trying to match, get all this stuff to fit in there exactly right. And so yeah. it's really cool. And so. you don't have to keep up with how many items of this, how many items of that. It's right there. <laughs> you can fit it. You can bring it, you, you know? Bring it. So great. And we got AJ from uh, Elf Creek. He's in the comments tonight. So AJ, uh, your job tonight is just, if we mess it up, you know, yes. kindly remind us yes, that we... kindly. No, we, we need to do things differently. So, <laughs> All right, so let's kind of dive in tonight. I'm going to show you the board, and there's a lot going on on this board. So kind of hold hold up with us as we kind of go through. I'm not going to hit every single uh, rule, obviously, because I, I want us to get into gameplay. And then a lot of the questions will be answered as we kind of hit this uh, as we go to each location. But let's go to the board, and I'll kind of show you a couple of things that we're going to see. Um, uh, what's up, Mike? Yeah, you know what we're playing tonight, Mike. We're playing your game, man. Um, so we are uh, we are running around this town, and we are going to be going on a rondelle, which a rondelle basically just means, if you're not familiar with it, that there are multiple locations of something, and you just keep going around in this circle and doing things. And so that's what we're going to be doing all night long, is we're going to be going to each one of these locations around the board, getting things maybe from this side of the board and then dropping them off on this side of the board. And uh, the, the basic theme of this is that we're living in a world where most of the year it's dark. And so you got to go about life and do your things. And so you're going to be visiting all these different locations, uh, getting these heroes that are going to join you. And then you're going to be getting these commissions or contracts that you have to get certain items, take them down and then deliver them to this part of the, the world that we're in. Yes, and I really like the, that part of it because each commission is made up of three different items. And it's kind of like you don't have to have all three items to deliver them. If you, you know, you get more points for the more items that you get, but it, sometimes it's just a race for how much I can get done mm -hmm. in the less, less turns. It's a more of efficiency instead of I have to do X to complete Y, then right. make it to Z. It, turn, it more is a switch in my head saying, what is the most efficient way <laughs> what can I do? that I can do this? And that just, it changes, it changes the game. It's really neat. So uh, what we're going to do tonight is we are going to be taking our wagons, our, uh, I guess our wagons, our carriages. our carriages, chariots, whatever they're called. And we're going to be moving around. And uh, obviously this is a prototype and I've even resourced a couple pieces that I just threw out onto the board for us tonight. But we're going to be moving them around with dice. So you're going to be using dice that uh, you're going to tell you how far you're going to move. And so let me see if I could show you this without totally messing up my board here. But this is our carriage that we have. And we are going to be using the numbers that are on these dice.
dice to move our carriage around the board. And so the way that you do that is through a mechanism called pushing. And so we're going to take these dice that I've already rolled and I get to push them here, which then pushes a die uh, up further. And whatever location I went through is going to give me a special ability for that round. And then depending on what dice that I have at the top, I, then I get to choose how far I'm going to move. So I pushed up this one. So then I would move my carriage up one spot on the rondelle. And then I'm going to have access to these two locations. I can choose to do either the Great Bazaar or the Ringway Inn. And so that's kind of the basic mechanism that we're going to be going through tonight. So, uh, but uh, as we go along, we have some horses that are in front of us. So yes. uh, tell us the name of your horse there. My name is and uh, we've been together a while. This guy has a special ability that allows me to receive two coins uh, discount when visiting the Great Bazaar. I think that's totally, so yeah. cool. I'm and so jealous of that. That is going to come in very much handy. And I've got Love Bug here that allows me to get a lantern every time I travel. And so, again, I know that there's a lot going on in the game, but we'll kind of get to all of those things as we go along. So uh, I guess without further ado, we're just going to kind of dive into Let's it. Hop into it. Um, if, if anything needs to change, if on the stream tonight the music's too loud or if we're not loud enough, yep. Put it in the comments, and I would love to answer any questions that I can. And we've got a few of the guys from Elf Creek here in the comments, so I know that they would love to engage with you. Uh, so if you have any questions, I know that it's already been funded like 410%. So congratulations, by the way. <laughs> That's incredible. They might have hit some stretch goals by now, I'm guessing. And so maybe yes. you could go on and see what they have to offer. So sound good? Yes. All right, let's do it. So let's do it. Uh, we uh, decided, I guess, I'm going to be the first player. Yeah, that's how we set it up. And uh, so we're going to go. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to I need to kind of move this a little bit so you can kind of see mine a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to decide. I go into the planning phase of my turn. So I'm going to push a die up and see what I can get. So I am going to, I think I'm going to do this forge action to begin with. So I am going to push this one up right here, that die now goes up. And because I forged, I'm going to get to do a free build action here or a forge action, which means I'm gonna get myself a little potion. Potion. Woo. Now these uh, items have a, a normal and then an upgraded size. Yes. And so you'll always pretty much, there's some other ways, but pretty much you're just going to get that mm -hmm. regular side to begin with. And then I move forward. I am the red, red. player tonight. So I'm going to move up to right there. And now, like I said before, I have the option um, of uh, choosing either from the Great Bazaar or the Ringway Inn. Mm -hmm. So I'll take a die that I have from up here. At this point, the number doesn't matter. Um, uh, it just matters for movement. And I think what I'm going to do is armor is worth five right now. Okay. And I have a potion. So I think what I'm going to do is actually do some selling right now. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're going to do selling the first move. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm coming to the Ringway Inn, and this says that I could sell an item to a hero. I pick a hero over here, and I can mm -hmm. sell up to three items to them. Yes. So I'm going to pick. Um, is that the only one that has armor? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm going to pick uh, Salah. Salah here, Salah. Salah, and I'm going to sell to Salah my armor and my newly acquired uh, potion. So I sell that. Five. And how much so is that worth? Five for the armor, one. So five for the armor, one for the potion. And then this is on a wheel. So later, maybe we get to change up the market a little bit. So, But for right now, you'll get six. One for the potion, five for the armor. I'm okay with that. So That's I'm going to get by. And uh, you need to check out the campaign because they do have an add-on for these uh, coins that looks pretty killer. So yes. you can check these out. So it's a cool uh, coin thing here. And coins and stuff in the game are supposed to be private. So don't be looking oh. at my coin oh. purse, sir. Yeah, same to you, buddy. Don't be. Um, which, uh, this might be a good point to bring this up. I totally forgot this. And this is a very uh, unique aspect to the game. Most games come down to straight victory points mm -hmm. at the end. So during the game, you're going to be trying to churn out as many victory points as you want. But this game has a mechanism where at the very end of the game, you're going to add up all of your money mm -hmm. and all of your what they call prestige points. Yes. Whichever one is lower, that is now your base score. So if I had 40 money and 35 prestige, I start at 35. My money 
kind of doesn't matter at that point. Yep. And then I will add on any victory points that I've gained maybe during the game or through these crown cards, objective cards that I get. So each one of us has a card that we're going to be trying to do. And then there's other ways to do it. So throughout the entire game, you're like, oh, I need some money, but then I got to get some prestige. And you can't let one get away from the other. Right? That last time we played, it was a scramble the last two or three turns to just get you, you got to get it even. You got to get it just right. And that was stressful. That was stressful for me. So <laughs> that's you sold awesome. your things. You moved. Oh, wait. Uh, Mike's saying we actually should have started here. So instead, oh. we're, I'm going to move me there. And uh, we do start with an illuminated die. Each of us have yeah. what's called an illuminated yeah. die, which if I wanted to, uh, once I get it pushed up into the top, I would be able to use it. And you'll kind of see how that works in a minute. But it'll be kind of cool to see these other locations that we're able to activate as we go along. So okay. Dra Dragon's Tomb says we need to start over because he's here now. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so I, I got a, uh, I basically recruited a new hero on my turn, which I should have been able to do, right? That's fine. We're no, 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 no. Ready. We're going to do it right. Okay, so let's, let's, do it right. let's do it right. So we're doing that. Give me this and this back. So instead, if I have one movement where are, we're there, uh, I guess what I'm going to do then, since I have an armor and a potion, I think I'm going to try to get, I'm going to do the Queen's Commission then okay. instead. So we're doing this right, right? Yeah, right. Might so as well. I'm going to uh, try to get a, uh, a commission here now that I would take these items and then drop them off. And it would be nice if I could combo that with a hero that I already have, but I don't see that happening just yet. So instead, I'm going to give this Scorchborn Scorch commission, and I can hold up to three of those on my turn. So easy, there we go. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. Um, Keeping us honest. Let's do it. Okay. So then your dice. So this is going to come back now back. to like a little pool, and I'm going to hold on to that. And here in a little bit, you'll see what we're going to do when all of our dice start disappearing. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to do about the same thing because okay. I want to I want to forge the weapon. You got a weapon? A weapon, and um, again, that's my movement. Uh huh. So I move up to where you're at. Multiple people can be on the same spot. No that's fine. Problem. There's plenty of room. No problem. So then I'm going to take that action, and I've got two weapons. What's up, Josh? And a um, a lyre is that what we said? It's an mm -hmm. instrument, but <laughs> yeah, know, get the instrument. It's the the liar. instrument, okay. And uh, I'm kind of like you. I want to see if I can get a north break. And turns out I've got a weapon and an instrument. This thing is rigged. So <laughs> not trying to make anybody mad, but mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. And so I'm gonna take my. My movement action dice and place it in my pool, and I believe that's it for me. Okay. Um, so there is a bit of planning that has to happen in the game because when you push die up, you know that the next round, then that's all I have to choose from. So I've got a two, two, and a three. So I need to almost be careful on what I put out there because you you don't want to limit yourself on what no. you have. No, and also you get it at the beginning of you know your when mm -hmm. the game starts, you have horseshoes that can add or subtract from your movement right. dice. So that's that is another thing that you could do. Very cool. If you wanted to. Okay, so I've got two of the three there. I don't know if I want to go ahead and go on a a mission just yet because I don't have any lanterns. Um, I think what I'm going to do is push up a, I think I'm going to push up this four here. This is going to go over there. So now I have a three that's available to me mm -hmm. and I have the option with this last one that's over here. I can either, so I'm going to try to do that just a little bit more so you can see, I have the option of either taking two coins or rotating the, the great bizarre that's wheel that. over there. I think I'm just going to take the two bucks. Yeah, why not? So I'm nice. taking taking two bucks because I got to get that going for me. And uh, I will. What am I going to do now? So I have three movements. So I need to move three. So let's see what that does to me. One, two, three. And so now I have the option of going to the Ringway Inn, which is where I wanted to go before, yeah. or the Dark Market. So uh, since we kind of talked a little bit about how the Ringway Inn worked, I'll show you how the Dark Market works. 
And this is a, a rotating board right here where this little icon, I will come to this location and I will move this thing around the board for every dollar or every coin that I pay. And uh, you have to pay at least one. Yeah. And then wherever it lands, you get the items that are there. So like a book and a spear, or I could take an objective card or I could take another commission card. Mm -hmm. And so I could keep going this around. And so basically if I wanted a gun and an armor, I'd have to pay four four coins to get it all the way back there. That's a lot. That is a lot. And so I think I'm just gonna take advantage of this location since I'm here. So I'm going to activate by putting that there, pay a coin, a coin. move this forward. And now I have a book and spear. So I will get a normal book and a normal spear. And then I get to do the fun thing of fitting it onto my cart. That is so fun. <laughs> that is so fun. So, um, oh, I yeah. think, I think I'm going to, woohoo! I really kind of want a land. What are you going to do there, man? So, I think I'm going to go. Oh, okay. One, two, and then I've, I've got, I could use the illuminated dice, could use the illuminated dice, but I'm going to hang on to it. Instead, I'm going to take a lantern. Okay. And, uh. One lantern, good sir. One lantern. And I'm thinking about going ahead and evening. Um, good evening. Going on an excursion is what oh, I'm okay. thinking about because awesome. I've got I've got a hero that can go to North Break and a commission that can that is uh, that I'm turning at North Break. So I could go ahead and get me some prestige, which I'm already behind on. So I think I'm gonna I think oh, I'm yeah. going to do that. So I'm gonna go to North Break. And you can go with me if you want, right? Oop. I forgot to take my die back. Yeah, so so he's now going to do the travel action. And the way that this works is basically he declares a location on the board that he's going to go to. And then if I wanted to, I could tag along with him. So without mm. me even having to take that action, I could travel along. But he's planned it out pretty well because he's going to an area that I can't go with him on. So uh, anyway, so he's going to get to do the travel action and I'll kind of walk you through each one of those things. Choose the area that you want to go. Yep. And then now you have to choose if you are going to take the shortcut or the dark road. So in order to take the shortcut, I'd have to have three lanterns. Do you and have three lanterns? I do sir? not. I do, do not. not. Clearly, I only have a one. One lantern. So I will be going the long way. Okay. Um, and then at the beginning of travel, I get to choose a companion. Yep. Right. Uh -huh. And the Ooh. first one, the Raven, the Phoenix, or the three cat. And the three cat being the first in line comes with an extra travel an die. Extra travel dice. We'll kind of show you how that works in a minute. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay. I'm with the tray cat. And these uh, companions give you a special ability that uh, you could trigger during the game with these crystals that we acquire, which is another cool deluxified component that they have. Oh, so I Elf Creek is really known for their production. And so uh, I love to see what they're doing on this campaign with the upgraded components. I, I like that. I don't have any crystals yet, but I will. So I'm sure that'll come in handy. Okay. So um, so now you can uh, deliver. Um, actually, no, we take the card. So yeah, let's, let's read the Dark Road card that we've got here. Hand it here, and I'll throw it on the screen for everybody to see. So now we have the Dark Road card, Deserter. Go ahead, read it, man. Give us some, some drama. <laughs> the Deserter. He claims he had a good reason for abandoning his caravan and that now only you can deliver his message. <laughs> so now I'm going to roll my dice. Okay. And I get one, um, one for, you know, the, the grabbing, grabbing the tray cat, the tray cat. Uh -huh. And then another, because I have one hero. Is that where the other one Just you get from? one per player that goes That's on right. the thing. That's right. Okay. So I've got a four and a four. <laughs> so what are you going to so, choose? <laughs> uh, it looks like I can either do get rid. If I had a one, I would lose two prestige. If I two or three, I have to downgrade and upgrade it good, it looks like. But I got a four, so I can roll the oracle dice. If I had a six, then I would be able to choose one of those two doodads there. Okay. So I only have a four, so we're going to roll... The, oh, the Oracle, Oracle dies. Two. Look at that. Prestige. Two prestige. 
So I'm being told in the comments that we can actually follow. Oh, this is, is this the man himself? Is the this man. Brian Surrey? Yeah. Is he here in the comments? What does he have to say? Oh, this is awesome. So we're playing your game tonight. We're loving it. So, um, or someone with your same last name. So, <laughs> uh, but he's saying that we can always follow, even if you didn't have anything to deliver. So I guess hmm. if we wanted to go down that dark road with you. Because you could gain the benefits. Yes, exactly. You could gain the benefits. Yes, you could very okay. well gain the benefits. All right. Okay. Okay, so did you get your thing? You I rolled your die, prestige. got your prestige. Um, now I'm going to deliver, and I've got um, uh, on my commission to Northbreak, I've got a weapon and an instrument. Okay. So that gets me three prestige mm -hmm. there, and then I'm delivering a, a hero. Okay. Which on Northbreak's. Um, uh, bonus there, I get two coins mm -hmm. for every hero delivered. So I'm delivering the hero for two coins. Okay. And picking up uh, three, three, three points. Press. So when you go to a location, when you do the travel action, you're going to be able to deliver either the heroes that you got from the right way in and then items that you're getting with these commissions. And so if you do what Bradley did, you know, you're kind of doubling up and taking them all there at the same time. And that's pretty, that's a pretty good move there. I mean, really, I mean, I could have delivered, if I had one more good, I could have done, I could have got more Three prestige, more points, yeah. And maybe if I had a couple more heroes, but I felt pretty good. I felt pretty good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. All right. So uh, each one of those contracts have up to three things that you can deliver. If you deliver one, it's just a point. Two, it's worth three. And then all the items, you're going to get six points. And then they even have uh, the upgraded items, uh, enhanced items. Uh, they're more magical, I guess. And so they're worth more. And those are going to give you an extra point there as well. So, And then I'm the leader, yep. right? So mm -hmm. I can choose either illuminated dice, a crown, or, a, or a, another objective. Um or money. Five bucks, or you could choose an upgrade to your wagon. I really want the upgrade to my wagon. I'll do it, man. So there's a few options that you have. Each wagon can only upgrade one time, and then this is going to slot in uh, to your wagon that you have down here. Now, every time you push a die through there, you're mm -hmm. going to get a better upgraded ability. And then there's also a two-point victory yeah, point. Not prestige point, but it's a victory, victory point. Uh, that you would have to put down here in your cargo slot. So, but is that worth? Is that worth the only upgrade that I can get? Though? Yeah, that's a tough choice. And I'm not sure about that. I actually think I may, I may just take the illuminated dice mm. this go around. Okay. Because I got some. I, I think I'm gonna have some things happening. I think I've got some things happening. Okay. So that was a long turn. But, but you got it. I think I did it. There you go. So that goes into my little pool, my discard pool. We got Matt in the comments too, and he worked on graphic design in this. Matt. And so thanks for joining us tonight. Hey. It, it Everything looks phenomenal. So I can tell y'all are ready to go with this thing. So yes. Okay. So let's, um, let me take my turn then, huh? Might as well. Okay. Here we uh, are. All right. So I think I'm going to do... Um, what do I want to do? I'm getting close to filling up on my resources. My little wagon's kind of full there. Um, but I still need, I've got all three of these items. I need like a, I do not have a one if I had a one, uh, but I could use my horseshoe, you right? Use your horseshoe. I could use my horseshoe. And there's a hero out that could get you another horseshoe. Ooh, let's, let's see. I'm just thinking, is there a scorch born? Um, hero, there is right. There is, Oleg, uh, and I could get, I could sell him a book to get him on board, and he'll give me. Okay, the wheels are turning. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push this two up. So I'm gonna use this three to push up the two, and then I'm going to get myself a lantern because I pushed through the middle there, and now I'm gonna use a two, but I'm gonna ditch my uh, thing there so that I can just go one instead. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. So now I'm going to activate the ringway in again. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up Oleg here, mm -hmm. Mr. Oleg, and he's going to, I'm going to sell to him, uh, a book, which how much are books worth right now? Books are worth three. Hey, I'll take three. So I'm going to get three points for him. And then he gives me a lantern. lantern. So that's actually on the card. So I'm going to get a lantern. And now I've got two heroes going to different places. 
and uh, that's that's my turn. Um, yeah, and then a new hero comes out there, right? Right, right. Okay. So I should have been planning, but I'm so interested <laughs> in what you're doing. Mm. So I'm. Um, oh, and I should have placed that there, and then this will come back here. So okay. So we're just a few, one more turn away from showing you how the dice losing goes. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Which is a fun aspect to the game, the way that you push dice and then have to lose dice and all that. Let's see. Um... Ooh, I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Let's just do it. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm, I'm going to go uh, here, which allows me to... Spin the wheel? Spin the wheel or gain two coins. And I'm going to spin the wheel. Okay. Because we haven't got to do that yet. It's mostly why I'm doing <laughs> that's that. That's why That's why we do things. I really <laughs> wanted to do that. So, uh, three movement. Yes. One, yeah, Joe. Two, there are a lot three. of choices in the game, but we were talking about it. How at first you feel like there's a lot to do, and this is a game that will keep you busy. Yes. But uh, once you understand how this works, man, you're wanting to zoom around this board a bunch. Totally. Sorry, totally. I'm interrupting you. So no, continue your fine. turn. That's fine. So um, now I'm going to I'm going to go to the Great Bazaar. I can turn again, or I can go ahead and take a dice and turn it to what. Mm -hmm. uh, to what I want. So the Great Bazaar has uh, three things. Oh, I'll take that off so you can see. It's got three things that we've got to do. Uh, you can do these in either order. So you could rotate the thing one more time. Uh, and then there's a me mechanism where you pick any of the die that are out there, flip it to any side that you want, yeah. put it back out, and then um, then you get to buy some stuff. Yeah, I don't right? have to roll it. I can just make it to be whatever I want. What are you gonna do that, man? I'm going to actually spin it first. Okay. Now that I'm here, I've got a plan. That's probably <laughs> not the right order, uh, but that's kind of uh, that's kind of how I work. And uh, and so now I'm going to turn turn the uh, a dice to what I want. I want to. I kind of want to get this staff out of there. Again, not for any particular reason. I just I don't know. It's time. The staff has had it today. So get out of here. Get out of here. And so um, so now I can purchase goods for, for coin. Mm -hmm. Two books are on the one slot. A weapon is on the second one slot. So I'm going to pay two coins mm -hmm. to get two books. You get all that stuff, and man. And a weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I forget. They're not upgraded or anything. They're just regular... Regular old books and weapons. Regular old books and weapons. <laughs> I got stuff to do giving him books and weapons. So turning that in. And then that is... Oh, should have had my dice. Because that's what I did. Yep. This goes back. And uh, so then we re I re-rolled these. Yep. Now we get to reset the market. So it's, it's really cool how you manipulate what is available and how much it's worth. And so it really does have this feel of that. Uh, now at any time there can be more than two things on there so if you happen to roll something and there's already two you just re-roll again redo it till you get legal till you get legal get right get legal okay so now uh so that's your turn that's right that's it that's it okay so i am going to uh i'm going to push this up here and uh i don't know if you can see that but i'm going to go through this middle section again and I'm going to get my uh, third lantern because I might be going somewhere this round. So here we go, poof. And then that means that I can go three spaces. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and I'm going to do Yurg's excursions. And so uh, two options, I can either go to the ruins of Yin or I can travel and I am going to travel because I'm, I'm loaded up now. So I'm traveling, sir, and I'm going to go to the Scorchborn area so you could travel along with me and go to either one of these now that i know i don't have anything to deliver but i hate to not go with you so i'm going with you you're going with me i'm seeing if i can load up on on some, <laughs> on some the, kind of good on thing. some kind of good things <laughs> okay so the first thing that i'll do is i'll get to choose a companion and so if i take the phoenix we're going to get an extra die uh to roll and i think i'm going to do that um uh, so I think I'm going to take this one. So I'm going to get the Phoenix with me now. 
And the abilities on that says that I could get two lanterns or I could go to the Ruins of Yin. Um, so I'll take that one. And um, now I'm going to, I'm doing the travel action, which speaking of my love bug allows me to gain one when I do that. So yeah, you're full. there we go. We got that. And since I have all these lanterns, what's a brother going to do but Let's travel? Go on the shortcut. So we're taking the shortcut. And so uh, I paid my three and I'm hoping that this is going to work out good for me. So we'll see. Cold snap. Okay. So cold snap. The trip is colder than expected and the road rough. Making it home again will be a tale worth the telling. I mean. Look at that. Three prestige if I get to six. Uh, five, I get a good of my choice. But if we fail, yeah. negative, you lose a good or you have to pay three coins. So now I think you tricked. Now I kind of think maybe you. I don't know why you came, but I'm I glad you did. Think you fooled me. But the the bad thing about taking the shortcut is you actually choose what you want in reverse order. So now we're gonna roll okay. these die, okay. and then you get to choose first. So okay, now you're pulling me back. Here. Maybe that's a good reason you tagged along. Me back so in. okay, so we roll. So now we have a four, a five, and a five. So sir, okay, you could have either a uh, lose a good. I could do that. You could gain a thing. I could do that. Or you could even use your lantern over there to re-roll them. Um, what would you like to do? I'm saving up my lanterns. <laughs> it took me a while just to get the one. A man can't lose his lantern. man can't lose his lantern. <laughs> so I'm going to borrow a five. Uh-huh. I'm going to put it back over here so I don't forget about it. And take a good. Take a good of your choice. And I'm going to take, um, I don't have a potion. I'm going to take a potion. Potion. Good choice. Okay, so then I will take the other five that's left. We had another five, so that's great. So I'm going to get a good of my choice. And I think I'm going to take a... How many spots does an instrument take up? Quite a few. Oh, I can fit her on you there. You got it. Okay, though. we got it on there. So I'm going to take that. And so now my little, my little wagon's filling up, but I'm about to empty it. So, uh, so now I'm going to drop off. Uh, I'm going to Scorchborn, and uh, so I deliver this guy, which says that I'm going to get two coins, loading nice. up on these coins, and then I'm going to deliver to Scorchborn uh, an armor, a uh, potion, and a spear. Armor, potion, and a spear. And, a spear. and uh, that means that I'm going to get six victory points. Not victory points. Oh, sorry. Prestige. So six. So now I'm up to eight. So I think we can clearly say that I've taken the lead. <laughs> and um, now the cool thing, the reason I wanted to pay the two lanterns too, is that I get to take two of these bonuses at the end. So the leader bonus now I'm going to get to take twice. So I think what I'm going to do is take the five coins yeah. because the first person to take money gets five instead of three. Yeah. So I'm going to take some money. And then the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take a crown card and these are objectives. And so I think, or do I want to take this before you snag it? See, that's what I was thinking last turn because once it's gone, you know, like once you take it, it's gone. I don't know what's the better one though, because this one, every time you forge, yeah. I get an enhanced yeah. upgraded item. Yeah. And if I'm delivering those items, I'm going to get an extra point. And my so... thinking on, on stuff like that is, should I take it so you can't have it? Like, <laughs> that's my gut reaction. I think I'm going to... Victory points are what matter, so I think I'm going to... Yeah. That's a max of five, though. Five points. Could I get more than five points in the game? And that's a lot of money, too. With the enhanced ones. Yeah, you'd have to have 50 money to max that out. To make five. I think I'm going for the... Oh, this is a tough choice. I may, might regret it. That is pretty good, though. But I bet in the game I'm not... Okay, I'm doing this one. I'm sorry. I'm going back and forth. But I'm doing the one where I get a lantern and I can move up an illuminated die. An illuminated die. So that's yeah. the one I'm taking. There we go. Turn okay. done. done. Great. Great. Right. And at any point, as far as the uh, what stuff is in your... your your, quality, your uh your cachet here of items you can always move that around yep. right like mm -hmm. it, however you have it as long as it fits it fits at any point at any time and i'm pretty sure you can dump stuff too so you could toss okay. that that okay. weapon if you don't need it right if i don't need it so okay so i i completed both of that i delivered a hero and uh, a commission and then you hold on to these because you might have objective cards that give you points for that maybe don't be looking at my don't stuff don't be looking at my stuff 
Um, all right, so you don't have dice up there anymore, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I had already decided what I was going to do, and of course now I'm rethinking, but I'm going to go ahead and go for it. So I moved a six up. There's only five spaces, so that kind of turns into a, like a one, to a one. Um, moving through the middle allows me to arm. Oh, are you doing this thing? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. So now he has two choices because he has two dice at the top. Actually, you could have chosen either one of them the one. for movement, but they both ended up being a one. Yeah, they're both the same. So he's got two dice. He could choose either one for his movement, and they're the same. But then now he gets to choose. Where did you end up at? So I'm here now. Now that before you moved, or? I was here. Okay. And then I. So now you move. So now he actually could do two actions here. And so he gets to decide. And if you use your illuminated die, say here at the Queen's Commission or even at Yurg's, then you will get to do whatever these special locations, which by the way, these can be moved and changed during the game. Now you would have access to the frosted filigree. Mm, if you would like it, sir. I love frosted filigree. It's my fave. So um, I am going to use my illuminated dice at the commissions. And I know that I've already got enough for another North break. Um, but I really don't want to keep going back to the same place. I feel like later it could benefit me to go to different. There might be some commission cards in there or some objective, objective cards. cards. So I'm trying to think on my feet here. And I'm going to go to the same region, but a different town. I'm going to go oh, to okay. Scotchbourne. Which I wish I would have done that earlier and went with you, but it just didn't play out that didn't way. Didn't work out that didn't way. Didn't work out that way. Okay. And then um, are you gonna do the frosted filigree yes, now? And then get the frosted filigree. So that will give you a victory a prestige, prestige point. point. You get a lantern, and then you get a good that is on a value one spot value on there. Spot. So what could you get? You get a weapon or a book? I um, on my for my scotch born, um, I'm gonna get rid of a weapon and a book so it really doesn't matter the weapon takes up less room and right now they're worth all about the same so i'm just going to put a weapon in there that's my thought process anyway. right and then for my second action i'm just going to go ahead and drop this bad boy off unreal i'm just okay. going to travel i'm a traveling kind of guy i want to do this ruins of yin here in a minute because you get some cool upgraded uh, stuff I mean, you do you, yes, you know. But I'm not trying to tempt you. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have any heroes, so all I could move is one. And it would benefit me more now to uh, drop that thing to off. drop that thing off. So yeah, I'm not. I'm, just, I'm not going to let that distract me. I'm not gonna <laughs> let that, I'm, I'm. I'm on on point here. So I'm traveling, and I'm going to take another. Uh, Ooh, do I tag along? Do you tag along? Do I tag along? I'm, it worked out for you. I'm tagging along. Let's do it. I'm following is the, the right term. I okay, believe. so I'm going to take the Raven. He's a good card. He's a good companion. And it comes with an extra travel knife. And so that will give you, once we get some of these uh, fancy little um, crystals, crystals, you could get an illuminated die or you could roll the Oracle die. Boom. Okay. So still don't have any crystals, but it's coming. It's coming. It's going to happen. I don't have three lanterns, so I'll have to go the old-fashioned way. Oh, I didn't think that. <laughs> didn't think about that. So, uh, Arm Scout says, It is helpful to know what might lie along the road before you even set out. And we want a three to six. One would lose us two prestige, two would downgrade a good, and then there's three coins for the, uh, the Oracle. What are you going to get there, sir? We have a four, a four, and a three. Okay, good. And you get to... No, this is a, the long road, so you get to choose first on oh, this one. Oh, oh okay. Well, I'm not going to choose the three. I don't think so. I'm, why, why risk it? You know, just in case something might happen, I'm just going to take the four and get three. Mm. Easy peasy. Just I'll like do that. the same thing. Look at that. It worked out. It worked out. I got three money for See, just tagging along. Man. When you follow me, good things, <laughs> good happen. things happen. Good things happen. Okay. Um, all right. So then I'm delivering to Scotchborn a a book and a weapon. 
How many points you get, sir? That gets me three. One, two, three. And you took the lead. You took the lead. So for two goods, get three prestige. Um, I didn't deliver any heroes. And then <clears throat> I get to take... Take a bonus. What would you like? I don't know. It kind of freaked me out that you got to choose earlier. So, But now you're done, right? Like, you don't... I don't get a bonus. Oh, that? Yeah, yeah. The rest of the game, you got all the time you want. Mm. I would encourage you to take your time. That way you don't get it a mm. lot. Okay, so in that case, in that case, I'm going to... Y'all look at this Andrew Bosley art. It's just so good. It's incredible. Look at that little guy. You got your ice mouse. He's so cold, but he's so brave. Your snow bee. That just doesn't seem natural, honestly. <laughs> so, um... Which I'm probably, I mean, that probably is a thing. It doesn't seem like a thing. A snow bee? A snow bee. So I'm... It sounds like a thing in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Snow yeah. Bees. Um, I don't, I have some cash, but I feel like I need more cash. So I'm going to take the three. Don't worry about how much cash I got. Okay. Same to you, buddy. <laughs> All right. So let me take my dice back. This one goes into my pool, and then this is discarded. It's gone, man. Gone. It is gone. Okay, I am going to... Uh, okay, so this is great. Now we yes. get to do this thing for you. So I no longer have any dice in my dice pool. And so what I will do is I will take my four leftover dice. Sadly, we have to get rid of one. And now we will re-roll our new dice. And then these start our new pool. So every time that your pool, your reserve is empty, you get rid of one and then uh, you re-roll them and go on. So that means that as we go along, we're getting less and less dice. I think it works out to like 13 turns that we get to take. And oh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you start to you start to feel it a little. I'm feeling it already. You know, you start to feel a little like we got to get moving if I want to if I want to beat you, which I do. Yeah. Uh, are you mad at me though? No, no, no. <laughs> so, um, so, and then this is where the planning really comes in because for me, like, I want to go two spaces and use my illuminated die, but the only way to get my illuminated die is to push through this middle, which would then give me a three. But, and my illuminated die already rolled and it's a four. So, yeah, that's tough. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. So, one, two, three would put me back up near the top at the bazaar. But I want to push. Um, I could. That would still give me some actions because I could get a good in. Okay, we're going to do that. So I'm going to push this five through up. Whoop, and it's going to go there, which is going to give me a lantern thanks to my fancy new upgrade. And I get to move this. And so now technically I could move either three or four. Um, I think I'm going to move to three because I want to try to take that action. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And now i that's the movement that I used. And I'm going to use my thing here to go. And I could do either one of these first. So I could get a, any good that I want and a good that is not on the board. So a good that is not on the board is a spear or a staff and an armor. Um... And then I need to go to Night Poem. Hmm. Neither one of those are good for me, but that's okay. So I will take an armor for, because right now I'm taking the Icebreaker Harbor thing. And then I get one that's not on the board. So that's my armor. And then the good that I want, I think I'm going to do an instrument. No, no, I can get instruments pretty cheap. I'm going to take a weapon for no 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 potions are five right now it's hard to come by i'm gonna get me a potion for my free item free item and then i'm going to take this to go to well first i guess i gotta take my queen's thing oh mm -hmm. i forgot to do that so we're gonna take the night poem one because i'm trying to drop off this other lady and then for my other action, I'm going to come to the bazaar. So the way that that works is I can choose anything that's on there. I could rotate it once. I don't know if that really matters or not. I'm going to rotate it once. It sure is fun. And then <laughs> take this item and make it into something else. So I'm going to make that into a staff, I guess. Or no, let's make it into a book. I don't think I can hold all of them. 
that will make more for the staff. And then I'm going to buy uh, the books and the the instrument. I can't hold two instruments. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> I did not plan this out, my friend. Um. Okay, so I'm going to get a book for a buck, and then um, I, I guess I'll take the two instruments. I can't keep them all, um, but so that'll be two dollars, right? Two dollars, which is painful because I have to. Um, uh, I don't know what I was about to say. It's painful. <laughs> it's just painful. It's just painful. <laughs> but I get a book and an instrument, and we'll see if I can find out where these are going to go in my little thing here. Oh look, I can fit that. I can't get. I can't fit two instruments in there. But we got that pretty packed full. So now basically, I picked up everything I needed for night poem. Hey, that's gonna be worth it. I think so. Roll my little dice here. Two instruments. Oh, look, they went right back. And a potion. There's the new bazaar. So that's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Both of those. That goes away. This comes back to the side. Okay. So I have decided that I'm going to push this four through, which gives me three movement. I'm going to, I could spin the bizarre wheel, but I'm kind of happy about where things are. So I'm going to leave that and just collect two more, two more money. Two coins. What's this money is... I can't imagine this in a final. It's gonna be so cool. It's got a cool B on the back of the one, and the one looks like is a this like a Honey Buzz nod? Did y'all do this for Honey Buzz? Because that looks be. cool. It's gotta be. So um, okay, so that gives me three movement, two, three, and I don't have any heroes, none, and you, I need a hero. You need them. I need them. So I'm gonna go to Orna who's playing a really cool clarinet looking thing. And she has given me a lot for potion and weapon. Okay. So. Or not. So you can get, what is she selling? An instrument. Yep. She wants an instrument, a gun, or a potion. Look, Orna, I don't have an instrument. But. <laughs> so what are you selling? But her, I man? do have weapons and a potion. Okay. Which in this current market would get me nine. So I'm. Actually, Are you serious? I'm actually going to take that. I feel like I can't. Whoa, whoa, wait! You can sell. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's I got weapon is in the five, potions in the four. Wow. If my math is correct. I think five plus four is nine. Is nine. Okay, okay. So I've got nine because I put one back if no one was watching, and I'm taking Orna. She is the only uh, the only hero that I have. But she also gives me a, the ability to hold an extra good. Just Ooh, that's cool. So that's good. I don't, you know, who knows what's going to happen there. But hey, I'm glad you're here, Orna. Welcome. And so that would go there. That's what I did. That hero card comes out. My dice goes in the discard. Okay. And that is it. Okay, great. That's a good turn. You made a lot of money. Man, I made some money. I made some money. Okay, I am going to... Hmm. I want to do. I could go. I've got a two, five, and a four. So five will keep me where I'm at. Two would put me down here, and I would have the option to go to the dark market or go on an excursion, um, which I think that's what I'm going to do because I want to try to do two turns back to back. I shouldn't be telling you this, but <laughs> I'm just talking I'm out loud. Notes. I'm this is bad. Notes. No, because I think I want to come down here and do the dark market, uh, which I can't do that yet. So. Because mm, my, my boat's full. So let me do this instead. So I'm going to do, I'm going to push the two up with a four. Okay. So four. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. You took your finger off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because the only thing I could take is a potion, right? Oh, and that's, that's not going to work for me. You could fit. So a five keeps me where I'm at. A four. One, two, three, four puts me where you are. Um, I really need that too. That's a bummer because I'm just going to lose it. But um, wow. Okay, that's all right. So I'm just going to do this. It's not very effective, but a five gives me an instrument that I'm just going to lose. Uh, but this moves me two spaces one, two. 
now I'm going to do the excursion because I'm here. I'm headed to this location, sir. Would no. you like to travel with me? See, now that I can go with you. Yeah, I'm going. You're just doing I'm it? I'm doing it. Oh, this is bad for me. Okay. So when I travel, Love Bug helps me oh, out. Yeah. Thank I you, Love Bug. And she uh, gives me the lantern. So uh, because I have three, I'm going to take the shortcut. So one, two, three lanterns. Goodbye. Goodbye. And now we're going to travel. We're going to, where did I say? North Poem? Yes. So here we go. And um, uh, we read a card. So I'll take the, a shortcut card if you don't mind, sir. And it says, here we go. Traveling Casino. <gasps> You never know what you're going to run to know. on the dark road. It's a traveling casino. The house always wins, but oh. the drinks and music are legendary. That drink was legendary. <laughs> legendary. Okay, so if things go good, we can get an any upgraded good is a six. Or um, a five is an upgraded instrument or an upgraded potion. That would benefit you no matter what, because you could just turn over mm -hmm. one of your things. And oh, and I got to get my ice mouse, ice which mouse. is going to give me one of these. And so... I'm hoping that we get a five or a six. Mm, this is not good. A okay, five. Now, this is a shortcut. This is a shortcut. So, guess who gets to oh, choose first? No. Um, oh, I'm pretty sure no. you're taking the, the instrument, the upgraded instrument I mean, or an upgraded potion. Now, I feel bad, but I... What choice do I have? Thanks for tagging along, bud. No, I don't. Well, I mean, hey, you know, such is life, I guess, <laughs> you know. Now, I could spend a lantern to re-roll whatever's left, but I spent, <laughs> I spent all of them. You used them all. I used them all. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> but that's okay, because I do the I do the shortcut. That way, I can get two of these upgrades. Well, okay, so I took the five. And now I have to pay two coins. Oh, um, no. because you got it. You got it, though. <laughs> You're loaded over No, there. I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I paid the two coins, which is a bummer. Uh, but now I'm going to do all the things while I'm there. So I'm, I'm dropping her off at Night Poem. Uh, Elif is getting dropped off there. And that says that I get a prestige and I get a coin. So we're oh, doing man. that thing. Prestige. prestige. And I get one of my lost coins back. Yeah. And then I'm doing the Night Poem delivery, which is two instruments and a book. Okay. So I did it all. So that means that I'm going to get six points. Six. So now I'm up to... So technically, I netted uh, seven points on that round. And the drinks were legendary. <laughs> and the drinks were legendary. <laughs> so that was when I went on the excursion. So that's there. Okay. Um, so I did the things. You did it. Uh, now I have to do two. I get two rewards, yes. leader rewards. So I can't take the, the wagon upgrade. So I think instead I'm going to take one of these cards, which yep. I get the objective, the crown card, and I get the bonus to the side of it, which yes. would be two the, the prestige points. And then I can choose again. Um, yeah, right. Uh, I have two. two. I think I'm going to take the illuminated die. Uh, that way I have it. Okay. So now I've got another illuminated die by my side. Way to go, man. Way to go. All right, so I'm going to move. Anybody got questions or comments? Throw them in there. We'd love to chat along as we play this tonight. Yeah. So um, I had a plan, and now I'm questioning <laughs> it, to be honest. But uh, but yeah, I think I think this is I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move one. So I pushed through the forge. So okay. I forge a instrument. Which barely fits in there, but I'm a master packer, so master packer. Oh, so I'm good. And, whoa, 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 uh, whoa, whoa, but is that right? What is it? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, it was off the it. grid. So I, I was. It. I'm sorry. <laughs> I bumped it. Okay. So then, um, my movement is one. Okay. I'm activating the commissions. Orna says she wants to go to Fargland. I happen to could benefit from going to Fargland. My original plan was to go to the bazaar. Oh, maybe I should. But now I can't fit. Now I can't fit the things that I was going to buy. Okay. So that's kind of what's changed my 
changed my plan. I know. I'm telling you, that is such a cool mechanism because it, you're like, at the beginning, you're thinking, yeah. I can fit all the stuff in here. Yeah. I got one <laughs> lousy instrument, and that's totally changed my plan. Yeah. But it was that, I mean, the drinks and the band yeah. were legendary. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't complain. Can't complain. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep with that. Keep with that. Go to Farglen. Take the Farglen commission. And, uh, and that's it. That's it? That's it. Take my dice. We're okay. about to lose another dice. I know, we are. Okay, so I'm pushing right through here. I've thought this through. Going through here, that gives me a lantern, and uh, I can use my illuminated die. So, poof, mm -hmm. it shows up. I'm using the five for movement, so I'm staying in the same exact spot. And um, uh, so I've got... I'm going to stay here. And so what I'm going to do, since I can do both of these, I'm going to do, oh, use this one, Jurg's Excursion. So I'm going to do uh, the Ruins of Yen. So we haven't done this yet. No, this is new. And um, so I can, uh, for you plus any heroes that you have, you will move this forward. Yeah. And so I don't have any heroes with me. So it's just going to go for the one. And uh, that affords me the ability to... Uh, do this right here. Take an upgraded armor or upgraded potion. Yeah. And if I want to, I can spend a lantern to roll the die. Do I do it? Um, so an upgrade armor. Let's get this first. And an upgraded potion. The thing with the dice is you can't lose. You, you can't win. lose. You yeah. can't lose. All I do is win. All I do is win. Um, but I'm such a fan of the shortcut delivery thing. Yeah, I hate to use your... Um, so, I don't know. I hate to use your lanterns. Um, uh, so, let's see here. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to okay. take that, and that'll be that'll be the end of that. But I do have another die here that I can mm -hmm. use. Mm -hmm. So, um, And I have this because I use my illuminated die. So, the thing at the end of the road yes. gets to trigger. So, yes. we're doing all the things here. And that lets me take a commission that I want. It's working out, man. That's it's working out. You so lot. we're gonna go um, an armor and an. I just where have I not gone? I haven't gone over here. I do have. No, the armor is gonna give me. I do have an upgraded potion, so we're gonna do this one. So I'm going to a brand new location. Yeah. Um and. Then I'm going to, so that's what I got from this one. So there's a number of things happening yes, here. Yeah. So I got this by rolling the Oracle of Lumi because I used my illuminated die. And now I'm going to take advantage of the dark market, which um, I want to, um, I'm just going to pay a coin, I think, one. to use this. And now that allows me to take a new uh, commission crown card, not commission crown card, oh, or I could take another commission. Mm. And um, I think I'm going to take another commission. Be no, that doesn't make sense. No, I'm going to take a, another one of these. And so this one says deliver uh, three commissions, a set of three to Northbreak, Scorchborn, or Farkland. Or if I have four people in the same class, I'm going to give four prestige. I do not have either one of those yet, but I could get some bonuses here. So I'm going to take this one. And that gives me a horseshoe back, which are pretty valuable. And I get to take a good. So I'm going to take uh, a fancy spear. Ooh, you got plenty of room for it now. Plenty of room, plenty my of friend. Room. Okay, great. That's it. Okay. I'm, I still haven't totally planned it out yet. Oh, here's your... Yeah, I think to answer your question uh, there, Trenton, like the more you play it, the more you would want to do that reverse draft on the horses. So, because you, you'll come yes. to it once if you like. There's another one that we had before that added a point to your travel die. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And had there's another one that has a whole separate grid. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So you could do like, I forget, but like three potions on it or something. Yeah. So that's really cool. That is pretty cool. Um, I actually haven't used money. I've been to the bazaar, but it gave me a discount on one, you know, the one item, the one coin mm -hmm. item. So I didn't think that counted. So I haven't totally figured it out, but I think that I am going to push the four through the middle. Okay. And 
and I can, so let's just, so that puts me one, two, three, four, and that allows me to use my illuminated dice or get a lantern, and I really want three lanterns, and I don't have a lot of room for, but, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and use my, not worry about the lantern, use my illuminated dice, and, uh, and place, place that, so let's go ahead and move. One, two, okay. three, four. That puts me there. Okay. I want to put my illuminated dice. I'm going to, I'm going to go for the, uh, for the bazaar. Do you want a bazaar? Doing the bazaar. Now you get sure. a discount there, sir. So, so don't forget it this that's time. That's I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to take into consideration. And you can do the building before or after your building, or the location. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and spin because I need no I'm not gonna spin because I need a book. So I could take take one of these instruments. Nice. Take the book, um, do that. No. Now it's going to be a five. Now it's going to be Books five. are going to be crazy. You books are going wild, man. Why did I do that? Books are getting crazy. What am I doing? Why On the dark road, you know, that? books are tough. Okay, let me let me uh, let me backtrack that then, because did you take your hand off? Ah. <laughs> so uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the building attribute first and just gain a book. Gain a book like that. Then, then I'm going to. No, no, you're good. I'm then I'm looking. Then I'm going to. Um, man, all right. So, as everyone can probably tell, this is not going as I had planned in my head. <laughs> so, mo I did the building, turned the dice. Now it's now I turn the wheel. Okay. And um, I can buy, but the only thing that I can fit is a weapon, and I actually don't want one. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about that. But now for my second action, I'm going to go to the ring way in. You're going to pick you up a hero there, sir? I'm going to get a hero. Are you selling anything? I'm going to sell um, a... Ugh, you're killing me over there with that wheel. I'm going to sell, the smart thing to do would be to sell a book. Okay. And the guy that needs a book happens to be in the same place as my hero. As things were. As things may happen. So that <laughs> gives me, that I sell my book, that gives me another five. Okay. And, uh, and I can sell upgraded goods. And I really want a crystal. But, Get that crystal, man. That's what I'm going for. But, you know, that gives me extra prestige over there. And the way things are going right now, I need more prestige. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... So I sold him one book, got access to him, and I have, you know, i got some more room for items now, but... I don't even want any more items. Who needs more items? You probably need more items. But, Do I need more items? But now they're too expensive. So, so, oh, you know what? Orna can hold extra items. Oh, that's so right. while the books were cheap, I should have bought a book. Anyway, that's how it played out. <laughs> that's how it worked. That's okay, how it good. played out. So here we are. Okay. So that goes away. This yep. goes to my discard. That's what Sir just said. Brian said you could. Don't forget. Don't I forget. Did. I did. I Fa forgot. Facebook lag, YouTube lag, <sighs> lot, cost you a, a book you could have carried. I forgot. Okay, so uh, I'm out in my reserve, so we got to yes. ditch yep. one, and then we just roll two. And a uh, two and a four. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to push through this four here. That goes up there. That's going to give me a another lantern. And I could use an illuminated die, but that has been lost. So I'm going to go four spaces now. So one, two, three, four. And here we are. So now I could go on an excursion 
or I could get another commission. And I think I'm going to, so I'm going to use a potion and a staff. So if I could go on another excur excursion to Farkland, oh, yes, sir. Looky there. Well, I don't know if that really helps me or not, because I'm only going to get one point, unless I'm trying to do something here. No, I think I'm just going to go on an excursion here instead. So I'm going to come over here to Yurd's excursion, and um, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm just going to go ahead and deliver since I'm here. So I'm traveling. Where are you going? Traveling, good sir, and I'm going to the... Green area? The Farkland region. I'm going with you. You are? You picked the right places, Oh, man. no. You picked the right places. No. Okay, fine. It is what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to this region, and um, uh, I could get a snow bee. Uh, I can't remember if there's a limit on the number of companions that you could have. So I've got a snow bee. You're going with me. I'm going. We, uh, when I travel, I take, uh, I get a lantern poof. Thank oh, you, love yes. bug. So I'm going to spend these to uh, take the shortcut again. Do I want, yeah, I want to do that. I'm doing it. Okay, so shortcut card, sir. Not only could I have got an extra item on Orna, I could have paid two less. What am I doing? Look, this is this is live, and we're not cutting anybody any breaks, man. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. The haunted hut, haunted inn. Haunted inn. The inn has a tragic reputation and a large collection of goods left behind by vanished guests. Ooh, okay. vanished guests. Right. Okay. Uh, we're rolling three here. I'm hoping for a five or a six, Come but on. sadly, you get to choose first. Come on, give me the good stuff. Five, three, three. No. Oh. Why do I do this oh, to myself? No. I should have gone on this thing by myself or, you know, not the shortcut, yeah. whatever. Okay, so a five gets you um, two, two lanterns. Two lanterns, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then a three costs me a good. So I'm dumping this potion here. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Uh, but I'm gonna deliver real quick while I got it. So I'm delivering an upgraded uh, potion. Okay. And I'm delivering a staff. Uh, so I deliver two things, so that gives me three, but then I get the bonus because it's upgraded. So four, one, two, three, four. Nice. What are you doing, sir? So I'm delivering one book. A bunch of stuff. One book, one instrument. <laughs> so that's uh, also for prestige for me. One, two, three, four. And then heroes at Bar Glen. Give you so two more. That's four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you're doing some combo moves there, sir, I'm that I, I have not done yet. Um, okay, so what am I doing then? I am going to... Man, i got to get some money. I've got to get some money going. Um, okay, so I will... Class. I'm going to take... So I get two of these bonuses because I went on a shortcut. So I'm going to take, I can't do this one, I already did it. So I could take three bucks and another crown card. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm getting $3, three bucks. I don't know if that's the best way to do it. Instead, I'm gonna take the illuminated die. Cause I feel like I could sell some items here in a minute and get some good stuff. So I'm taking the illuminated die. Let me roll that so I don't cheat four. And then I'm going to take another crown card, which I'm gonna take this right here. Uh, which says I get a prestige for each unique class that I have. And then uh, the bonus for that is that I get another horseshoe, which I got to remember that, man. I got to remember these horseshoes. And I get a good. So the good that I want to get, what numbers do you have? Four, yeah. five. One. I'm just trying to see if you're going to mess me up. Yeah, I'm moving possible. that. It is possible. I'm taking an instrument for that. So, all right. Good, sir. Good, sir. Your turn. Don't mess me up. All right. Let's see what I can make happen here. What did I... I put the die there. So, um, now again, my plans changed because I got to take advantage of your travel, your, your travel phase there. So, I'm going to push... I'm going to push a five. 
which leads me where I'm at, and I get to forge an instrument. Hmm. Here's your top-down view, sir. <laughs> ah, and so, um, so that means I can go to the Great Bazaar again. And I think I. And you got rid of your uh, your yeah. extra spot, yeah. lady. Clearly, I know how to play the game. <laughs> I so, think you're doing all right, though. Doing you gotta, okay. Look at all that money you got over there. Yes, I'm doing okay. You are doing okay, sir. I'm afraid that I'm get, I've got blinders on and I can only see one thing at a time. But that's the way I play. That's who I am. So, you know, why change? So, um, so I think I'm going to go to the bazaar because I really need, for my upcoming scheme, I really need an armor. And that would fit right in. So, that's what I'm going to do. Five movement puts me right here. I'm going to flip a dice. Who cares about a staff? What's going on armor? Flipping up. I'm going to buy. I am going to buy an armor. Okay. It ain't much, but it's honest. It's honest work. It's honest work. Pretty I'm buying much. one armor. Okay. And that is, that is it. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay. Let's see here what we're going to do. Okay. I think I'm going to uh, push this through here. Uh, oof. I, one, two, three. I could do that instead. Um, okay. So I'm going to push... I've got a two there. I think I'm going to push this four over here that lets me take two coins or rotate it. I do not want to rotate it. So okay. we're just taking the two bucks. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use a horseshoe that I got a minute ago to make that four into a three. So one, two, three. Sharing space. There we go. So we got that. So what am I going to do on this space? I am going to sell my uh, armor to uh no i needed to rotate it yeah let's do that instead so i'm giving the two bucks back sorry people i'm totally messing this up so instead i'm going to rotate it yeah poof, poof. and now i'm uh using the horseshoe maybe go three spaces sorry i'm catching up here uh -huh. and now i'm selling an upgraded armor poof to get seat sala sala we wanted an upgraded armor and um, that armor is worth five. So I get five coins for that. I will take it. And um, then that also gives me a lantern because that's what Sala mm -hmm. does. So I get myself another lantern, so Sala which, does. which I love. And then um, because I sold an upgraded good, we get our first crystal of the game and I get a buck. We're like halfway through. And now these crystals, at any time, I could use them to do something else, which that's what I'm going to do. Of course. So I'm going to use the first crystal of the game, and I'll show you how this works over here. So I could choose on any of my companions that I've had, I could add this crystal, and then I get to do the thing that it says. And so I'm taking this crystal that allows me to get a, um, a commission. And so that's how that works. And I'm taking a commission here of uh, Scorchborn, I think. I wish it was Northbreak, but Northbreak doesn't have what I need. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do that. That's all right. That's what I'm doing. I'm it's doing fine. that thing. It's fine. So now I have uh, my thing. And so my little Ice Mouse, thank you, Ice Mouse. He went and got me a commission. Oh, Ice Mouse. Oh, by the way, if we stop <laughs> off at uh, Scorchborn... <laughs> Look, I'm Ice Mouse. I was wandering around the commission board. Here's what I found. Maybe <laughs> it helps. I don't know. Here's what I found. Here's what yeah. I found. So now we're already out of, or I'm out of dice again. So I lose I'm another one. Be, so. I'm about to be with this one. So, um, so I've done this a couple of times in my head. Still not necessarily happy with it, but I need... I need commissions. I need commissions. Okay. So I'm moving to, and I don't have any room for lanterns, and I okay. don't have an illuminated dice. Okay. So that means all I'm doing is 
just moved in twice. Okay. I would like a commission, and I would like a commission from Night Cohen. Night mm. Cohen. It's a good one, my friend. Thank you. Mm. So, um, so yeah. That's, Is that it? That's it. That's all I can do. Okay. And then, so I get rid. This one's gone. That one's gone. Okay, um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to push this up through here. It gives me, I, I'm now forging a one, which is a weapon, a weapon. weapon. So I do that. And uh, five keeps me right where I'm at. One, two, three, four, five. So I stay where I'm at. So I'm going to do the great bizarre thing. Um, and right now I have an instrument and that. So that's going to give me... So at the Great Bazaar, what do I want to get? Uh, I could rotate it first and then get something. I definitely definitely need a potion. Um, I could get a couple of those and maybe staffs are going to be expensive no matter what. So I could get a couple, maybe another armor. No, armors are going to be expensive. So I will take this armor off and we will make this into a potion. Go in that action, and then I rotate it. Then, and now I can buy as much stuff as I want. So I'm going to buy the uh, two potions. Is all that I'm going to get, I think, because I already have a gun, and I don't know if I want. No, I'm going to get a book too while I'm here. Books are two, three bucks. That'd be three dollars. That's like victory points, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, I'm just going to buy the one. I'm being cheap. So I'm just buying the one, buying one, and I'm getting two potions, and then I'll roll these and put them back out. Two staffs. Two so, staffs. Two potions. Okay, that's my turn. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to push up my four. I don't want any more money. So I'm twisting the market around. Um, and then actually I'm going to use my only horseshoe to, yes, to bump up my four to a five. Okay. Which places me right there once again. And I'm traveling again. Are you traveling? I'm traveling again. Okay, where are you headed? I'm going to go to the purple region. Ah, I don't think I'm going to go with you because I'm afraid of losing. Are you taking the shortcut? No. Oh, I've got enough. You do have enough. Okay, I'm going. Yep. I'm, I'm going. Do it. Okay, so you get, uh, you could take an ice mouse and get an extra die, or you could take um, a raven or a phoenix. Well, I've been talking to my three cat. <laughs> He's interested in the mouse. Okay. So let's go with the mouse. Okay, so you now have an ice mouse, ice mouse. and an extra one. And are you taking the shortcut yes. or the, the yes. dark road? Shortcut. Okay. Shortcut. Forest Market. You had better buy what you can before Queen Gisela's agents shut this place down. Get what you can. We're they shutting it down. They do not have the right permits to be in this, uh, in this area. Okay. So here we go. So that's... Oh, that's a four, Ooh, a one, and a two. Oh, so well, um, you don't really. Uh, I think I'm going to take the good. I'm just guessing. Four. I think I'm taking the four. So you do have a lantern that you yes. could use to then re-roll those if you want. And that's what. That's what I'm going to do because, you know, I could get an extra prestige point if this armor was upgraded. So I'm going to. Roll again and hope for a six, honestly. That's what I'm going to do. Do I re-roll all three, you think? Uh, just the two just that were two. left. Okay. That's right. That makes sense. Four, four to six. I did it. That's what I want to do. An upgraded armor, or are you taking the good? I'm taking an upgraded armor because I don't think I can fit. Let's see. So I'm just going to upgrade the one that I have. Um, 
Okay. I still don't know what I need. <laughs> I don't know what I need. So that I'm would fill me up. Going so. to night poem. I don't have a hero to turn in, but I do have an instrument and an armor, which gets me four prestige. Okay. One, two, three, four. We're tied up there on our prestige, good sir. Oh, I've made it. I've made it. <laughs> and that discards my dice. We're down yep. to our last dice. Yep, our last one. So we don't have anything that we're going to be pushing now. Um, but when you push through this right here, you'll forge whatever that number is. Okay. Okay. So, like, for me, I'm going to get a, a, a weapon, I guess, when I do that. Um, so, here we go. One, two. I think I'm doing that. Okay, so I'm going to push through here. That gives me a lantern. I hit them underneath all this. Um, I get myself a lantern, and then that allows me to use my die. And then I can move either two or four. Four would put me back here. Um which I might want to do, speaking of, here we go. I need to go to Scorchborn. Are there any Scorch, there are no Scorchborn people. Come on. Um, so instead, I think I'm gonna do the two. One, two. I'm gonna place this here and then do this. So that allows me to get a lantern, which I need. I'm going to get a prestige point, which I need, and then I can take a good valued at a one, which uh, I guess I will take. Um, neither one of those I can even use, so we're just going to forego it, I guess. Um, a book, I could do that and get a book. I'm going to dump my potion and get a book instead. Okay, so I'm traveling. Good, sir. Um... Mm. And, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm traveling, I think. Are you taking a shortcut? Or do I have to choose before you tell me if you're going on a shortcut? Mm, uh, no, I'm changing my mind. I'm not going to okay. excursion. I'm doing a commission, commission instead. Very well. And, uh, at Scorchborn, I can take uh, another one of these. If that's smart or not. I guess we're near the end, so I might as well do that. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Take that. That got my commission going, and then that is the end of my turn. So then these go away. Your turn, good sir. Okay. I'm, I'm playing a five. Okay. That's what I have to work with. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to uh, forge an instrument. That's fit. I'm pretty sure. Uh, going to commissions. And I need something with a instrument and a weapon. And you, you, you know what? There ain't a one. But is there one that I've not been to? No, again. So... Um, I'm just gonna go to which one would is there one that would fit with more? No, because they all have to do with heroes and I don't have them. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take part. Okay. That's it. Um I am going to push this up through here. Um, and sadly, I can't finish, fix anything on there, but that puts me at one. I'm going to do an excursion and I'm going to Scorchborn. What are you doing, sir? Are you going with me or no? Scorchborn? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am going to go with you. Okay, and then I'm spend, I am get a lantern every time I travel, uh, and then I'll spend three okay. to take the shortcut. And then... Uh, my Oopsie. phone is ringing. Oopsie. No, I do not want to FaceTime right <laughs> right about now. Would not be a good time to, to FaceTime. Okay, so then I am going to take the Raven, uh, which will give me the extra die. And, and I'm then going with you. You're going with me. We're rolling three. We'll take a shortcut. Shortcut. Because that's just what I'm good at. Wrecked caravan. A wrecked caravan. The stranded travelers are relieved to see you and happy to join up and salvage what they can from their failed venture. 
Hey. Okay. Okay. So we roll the dice, and you, sir, get to choose first. This is painful. A six, a one, or a two. <laughs> so you can get no. any upgraded item that you want. Um, I'm going to take... I'm going to take a book. Okay. And then I'm going to spend this lantern to uh, re-roll these two dice. And I'm actually hoping for a five, I think, or a six, uh, which I can't I can't store anyways. So I'm going to take the six. Yeah. So that's just a less of a, a bad thing, yeah. right? So even though I can't keep it. Could you upgrade one of the goods that you had? Because um, you can dump. Oh, yeah, yeah. You that's can dump right. an item technically and take on a... What a guy. Why did I say that? Why would you say Why that? Say I'm that? so thankful for you as a friend, <laughs> as a comrade. <laughs> comrade. Okay. Um, so there we go. So I dumped my regular guitar yeah. and I got me a you magical guitar. Rated. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to deliver. So I'm going to deliver to Scorchborn and I'm going to deliver my uh, sh armor upgraded mm -hmm. thing in this. So I'm going to get six, seven points for that which this is not working out for me. So I'm at 29, but 29. I need money is what I'm saying. Yeah. I, yeah. Of course I delivered this and this is boosting it up, but if I don't have money to match it. Yeah, and we are two turns away. And then uh, for my other Scorchborn one, I'm delivering this other armor, which will just give me one. So there you go. So I delivered both of those. Um, I can't go to the region that you're at, so that's it. Okay. And did you get your... No, now we're going to get that. Okay. And I think I'm going to get three money. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I need any of those other... Actually, I'm just going to get six just money get six. at this point. Yeah. Six straight money. Yeah, I don't have anything delivered. And so... That's it. Okay, so your turn. My turn. I'm... Uh, you know, again, who knows if this is the right thing. But I'm not taking on any more money. It is cutting it too close already. So I'm pushing the five up, spinning the market again. Okay. And then uh, love it. Strip that up. Love it. And then I'm going to travel. All right. Where are you headed? We just got back. Uh, Far Glen. Far Glen. Uh, I don't have any lanterns, so it'll be the old. It'll be the one. And I would choose last, so no, I'm not going to go with okay. it. Um, if uh, I guess I'm going to take. So these would move down, right? Oh yes, Phoenixes I'm sorry. Move down, and then I'm going to take. Would you like the phoenix? A cave dragon just came out. I gotta have that extra dice. Okay. So yeah, you take, do. So uh, regular travel. Blazing quartz mine. The miners are eager for news of the cities of Yuri. So, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. A six and a six. I think you got what you want. So, Man. you would have um, a contract for. Uh, is that a contract or is that a, oh, a you symbol? Know what? You get a hero with that I symbol on it? I think it's a. Is it a. Is it. A hero or a commission? You know, I don't know. We'll, we'll ask and see if it's Okay, ready, that's know. all right, though. <laughs> we'll wait. So we got this symbol here, and I can't remember if that is I just have that symbol for in-game or if that means that I, I get a hero with those that. are classes. Mm -hmm. Classes of, the of heroes. heroes. Okay, so we'll wait on that. And then, because uh, either way, either way, I don't think it's going to benefit me because I'm not going to... I'm not going to either of those regions, so it okay. doesn't make a lot of difference. So I am going to go to Far Glen. Okay. I don't have a hero, so it's no prestige, but I am delivering an upgraded book. Okay. And an instrument, so that gets me four prestige. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And um, since I traveled, I get... Oh, yeah, a bonus. Yeah. A bonus. Those are <clears throat> commissions to those cities. Yeah, so okay. you get commissions to those so, cities. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because there's the symbol that's what for I, That's what I wanted to make sure that it wasn't a hero. So let's see. Which is good because at the very end of the game, you get to take one more travel 
to a location. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me think about this then. I've already got a an instrument and a weapon. There's an instrument. There's a weapon. And it's either from Night Poem or... <laughs> so let's go Night Poem. Y'all, I got a stack of these <laughs> objective cards, and I don't think I'm going to get... I got a couple I'm going to get something from, but two of them is like, nope, 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 nope. And then I'm going to take this... Okay. For and that gives you two extra prestige two there. Two extra prestige. All right. And uh, that is it. Okay, that's it. Okay, final move of the game. Push that through. I get... I'm not going to rotate it because that would be brutal. Well, either way, actually. Yeah, either way. Because I got a book and a weapon. And... Neither, none of the people that want that are going to get it. So, but I'm taking the two coins. So I'm taking two coins. It's a smarter thing to do uh, because of this right here. So poof, I get two. And then I'm going to use my horseshoe to make this into a three. So I'll go, oh, it's a three. I was hoping it would be a two. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have played something wrong there because I had three in my mind. I must have been thinking it's a three and I could turn it to. Okay, whatever. So one, two, three is what it turns into, or I can make it into a five if I wanted to. So is it a four, a five? Would put me right back where I was, right? Right here. Mm -hmm. And um, I could deliver North Break, but I'm going to do that at the end anyways. So yeah, I think I need a commission then. Yeah, so commission. I'm doing the commission to North Break. That works yeah, out perfect. Exactly. Okay. Poof. Poofy. This is exactly what I meant to do, good sir. Poofy do. Okay. All right, that's uh, that's my my game that's there. It. We got um, one more thing. You got one more. So push up the middle mm -hmm. and a lantern because I don't have an illuminated dice. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Um, You're selling. Weapons are worth five, five coins, sir. But. I don't know what the term in the game is for money. Um, coins. Yeah, it says coins. coins. Yeah, coins. Five coins. So I don't need to make any money. I don't need any it more. It doesn't help you to make money. It doesn't help me. So, so do you have to sell? You don't have to sell. I'm not going to. Okay. So I'm going to go to the, so I'm going to go to the Great Bazaar. Can you buy what you need there? Book or a uh, staff? That's what I'm thinking. So books are cheap. Man. Books are cheap. Oh no, it's gonna rotate though. Right now. <laughs> uh, so staffs get cheaper. Okay, staffs get cheaper. That's what I'll do then. I'll I'll turn this into a weapon. Spin this. Okay. I'm gonna. Pay two bucks you didn't need anyways, right? Don't need two that coin. anyway. Don't need that anyway. So um buy two two staffs. Uh-huh. Those over. Get my two staffs. That worked out okay. And then uh reroll. Okay. Look. And a potion. Alright. So now it is the end of the game, That's right? It. So we get to go on one more travel action. Uh, we won't roll dice or pull cards or any of that kind okay. of stuff, but we'll do the things that we could do there. So uh, I can go to North Break, and I'm going to deliver two of these items. Okay. So that'll give me three points or three prestige. Uh, one, two, three. And then I'm delivering uh, my Sala, and I get two points for that. And you, kind sir? You know, again, I get a two-coin discount when I visit the Great Bazaar, but I'm spending two. So I don't imagine I got those for free. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that either. So um, so I'm going to... The only place that I'm going to go is Night Poem. Deliver a staff. Get two goods. Three prestige points. Three? Three. One, two, three. You got it. Which, you know, that kind of messes me up a little bit, actually. But that's all right. I just didn't think it all the way through. It's still really close. 
Okay. And that's it. That's it. Okay. So now we're going to bust into the final thing of the game. So we're going to look and see. Uh, you count up your money. Yes. And you look at your prestige that you have gained, and yep. the lower amount the is lower where amount. you start at. So okay. what? How much money you got? Three, four, five. I have twenty-five. Twenty-five, and you have thirty, 30. points. Yep. So well, I'm just going to use this to try to track us. So I started who, twenty-five. You're at twenty-five, and I have thirty-three points, and I have thirty-six coins. So I'm staying at the thirty-three. Okay. 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 I'm at a disadvantage. And then now we're going to gain points based off of our cards that we have, uh, our objective cards that we have gotten, and uh, kind of see there. Oh, which I might have done that a little bit wrong, actually. Oh, because we get coins for the objective. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So well, let's do that on first. Hang yeah. On so you were at what, 30? I was at 30, and I would get per unique location. One, two, so I'm gonna get three. three more coins. And then I will get one prestige for every 10. So that is 10, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I get two more of these. Okay, so we're adding up our objective cards. Um, yeah, he said uh, that uh, your fancy horse there would have taken you down to the row. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, because it would have, that would have given me more money than points anyway. So I okay. think it all comes out in the end. And then I'm going to get three extra prestige for this card. And then I've, I've been, okay, so I, we're not talking to you through what we're doing. So I'll try to do that a little bit. So I'm going to get a prestige for each unique class of hero. Mm -hmm. So I have three different classes there. So I got three prestige for that. Then these kind of comboed off of each other. I get one uh, coin for every 10 prestige and then one prestige for every 10 coin oh so okay i don't know when you activate those i guess at the same time or something yeah i don't know so so that's what i did uh kind of it didn't really matter because i didn't reach the 10 point max anyway so that's there and then i have this objective card that says if i have three heroes of the same class i get four prestige but i didn't so that's where that ended for so me. i get one coin Per uh, uh, per unique commission delivered okay. to the lo unique location, so that's four. I've got that already. Okay, and then I get two victory points if Ooh. I deliver this set of three. And North did you break Scorchborn Bar? And so those will be added on here in a second. Victory yeah. points are different. So so then we'll do the the whole add up thing again. Okay. So, so my coins are at twenty nine. So that's where I'm. At. And if I would have if I would have got zero then that would have put me at like 31 i guess so and then i have uh 29 as well so then this drops me wow whoa well that changed things a little bit there good whoa. sir so now we are tied up what is it what do we do there though i get two more victory points no <laughs> 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 what? So that puts me to 31. That would be the win. That would be the win. I've done it. You've done it. I've done it. Now, if I would have taken that upgrade, we would have had yeah. two points in my card, but that would yeah. have messed me up all kinds of ways to have that two yeah. victory point. And you there. know, it, the two coin thing, I think would have put me up a little bit, but I think I still got the victory with the two, two victory yeah, points. Yeah, that that's a solid one to gain there. So. Yeah. So there you go. That That's is it. Merchants of the Dark Road. You can see that it played. Uh, we took a little bit longer because we were explaining a lot of it. So I'd say 60 to 90 minutes yeah. is probably about right. Yeah. And uh, even with teaching it, you can kind of see how that goes. But it goes by so fast yeah. because once these dice start getting through there, yes. you'll start to realize at the beginning, you think, I got days. Yes, I yes. Got so days. much time, a handful of dice. <laughs> and there's every turn, there's so much to think about. Mm -hmm. Like, even though you can only do one thing, it affects mm -hmm. turns three turns down the road so well that's why they call the first thing you do the plan stage yeah because really what you push in there yeah. is yeah that's a pretty big deal it's a big deal but uh, yeah there you go so great game uh, great game artwork is awesome this yeah. is one that i could see uh just sticking around on the shelf for a long yes. time yeah um and this is one i think if you asked me to play this i don't think i would turn it down no it plays great it, it looks good on the shelf uh -huh. you know obviously like you yeah. said like it, you can't go wrong 
Yeah, it's Anchor pretty cool. On, pretty cool. On our board game closet channel, we do uh, buy it, play it, hate it. And this yes. is still a prototype, so we yes. typically don't do that. But no. hey, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all, I've said it. It's out there. Hey, I'm all right. Uh, buy it, play it. We're all on board with this one. Yeah, this one's all great. On so if you have any questions, put them in the comments. We'll try to come back uh, later on. And if we have anything else, uh, we would love to. Any other questions, we'll try to answer them, all that kind of stuff. And there's a link in the description and in the comments that tells you how to back this game. And of course, uh, we definitely want to support them and what they're doing. They sponsored yes. this whole playthrough. So at least go check out the campaign and see what they've got. I think you'll like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Thanks, for joining, Thanks us. for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jimmy. I'm Bradley. We'll see y'all next time.